Here is a chart of NEO. Uh, I had not done a NEO analysis for a while. <clears throat> and I wanted to share with you some of the Elliott Wave counts as well as maybe chart pattern analysis. So let's review what waves have been already placed here and labeled. So it took years, months rather, of flatlining before it made any impulse moves and we were able to label one, two, three, four, and five. Notice how here the extended wave is the third wave. The longest wave is wave three. And that means if the fifth wave is not extended, then most likely it will just be an ABC and the retracement should have gone to the region of price of wave 4, but it went much deeper than that. <coughs> and, and again, this tells you again, you cannot overlay the conditions that were ascertained for Elliott wave relationship using equities and trying to apply that into cryptos because cryptos are very different. They're not the same as equities. They don't behave the same. They don't have the same personalities. After five waves, there's a requisite re retracement uh, in three waves. And that's exactly what we saw. A, B, and C. And then, <coughs> I've always said in one of my tutorials, the best time to make an entry for a long entry for buy is at the terminal end of a C wave. So this would have been a good place to enter and cast your ladders. And all the tutorials on how to ladder, how to buy, when to buy, when to sell for profits, are all in the tutorial that are linked in the bottom of this blog. I highly recommend you please take a look at that, especially for the new viewers and followers. I also put out a tutorial on how to do Elliott wave counting, the first part. That is also linked in the bottom of the blog. The same for the recommended technical analysis books, the Elliott wave principle and the stock chart pattern recognition book. Now once ABC is done, once it is complete, there is a trend reversal. The original trend resumes. And that resumption is most de uh, uh, best confirmed by another five wave impulse. Like that. This is a beautiful impulse, you can see. And since five waves completed, there's a correction that needs to be done. And also the hurry up and wait syndrome. Look how it didn't waste any time. It almost went vertical. Same here, it almost went vertical. Didn't wait, wait, waste any time. And that is the hurry up part of that syndrome that every crypto has. They hurry up the actionary waves and they take the time on the corrective waves. One of the keys is to be able to label this type of very complex combination type of correction. I can just see it right now. And this is what trips up most of the beginners in Elliott Wave Analysis. <clears throat> and this kind of count also has most variation. There are more than one way to count it. So I let me let's take you through this complex combination. Probably it'll be a combination count. And see the where the price will go. 
So there's a count called WXY, which is 333. Three, three. So before I do that, let me <coughs> zoom this in. So I see 3, 3, 3. And that 3 I will call W, X, and Y. And each has a W, X, Y subwave. 3, 3, 3 subwave. <coughs> And if that's WXY, usually there's another set of WXY. Let's see. W, X, Y. Let's label that W, oops. W goes here. 1, 2, 3, X. 1, 2, 3, Y. And then another W, X, Y, W, X, Y. Give it a different color. <coughs> Give it yellow. One, two, three, W, one, two, three, X, one, two, three, Y. Now, waves and subwaves are very important here too. Just like this W has subwaves of itself, 1, 2, 3, and this X has subwaves of, of itself, 1, 2, 3, these W, X, Y are the subwaves of a higher degree of trend X. And the purple W, X, Y are the subwaves to a higher degree trend of, I'm sorry, this is W, not X, W. So these W, X, Y are the subwaves of a W, higher degree trend W. And these W, X, Y in purple are subwaves to the higher degree of trend X. This A, B, C, yellow, are the subwaves of a higher degree of trend Y. And this takes some practice to get the hang of. Complex corrections are most difficult because it's not hard to um, it's not easy to see right away. This you can visualize. You can see this is an impulse very easily. But when you're faced with something like this, it's not as obvious in the form and fit of it. So this is W, X, Y. Does that mean the correction is done? Not necessarily. So I mentioned combination. So here I see a triangle. You can see the triangle probably. So let's draw the line. That. <coughs> so this went up. First step, went up first, so from here to here is A, B, C, D, and E. So I have a W, X, Y combined with an A, B, C, D, E triangle. This is what you call a combination complex correction. Not the easiest to label. Now if I draw a line and now add a chart pattern recognition factor,
<clears throat> now I have a downward pointing bullish flag. So this is a very good bullish flag, very nice. Embedded within that is a tr symmetrical triangle ABCDE. I think there's one more small dip left for E. And I believe the price pathway can look like this. Sorry. <coughs> It'll start from the E heel to one support resistance support and an all time high. Okay, so I'm going to make one a body equal to five. So there. <coughs> so I think correction is almost done. If this WXY is correct and this ABCDE is a consolidation before the takeoff factor, we can see a temp midterm target of 6047. I think this labeling is quite good actually. It makes sense and follows the rules. Now let's take a little bit more of a bird's eye view. Keep in mind the subwaves requirement. These waves, one, two, three, four, five, are subwaves to a higher level wave one. On this WXY correction with a combination triangle, two higher level or subwaves to a higher level wave two, and this is doing three. And that's not the end of it. That's why I call it the midterm. Then we're going to get four and a five. And the five will equal the length of probability of one. But I won't go that far right now. This is good enough to do the Elliott wave count. And by end of the year, so we should be at $60 plus. That is the price pathway projection I'm making. I hope this has been helpful. Any questions, please post. <coughs> Every now and then I get someone coming in with some really good attempts on labeling. Bravo. I'd love to see more of that. Post your attempts on Elite Wave labeling. Those of you who have done well so far in labeling the impulse waves, try and see if you can now do the complex waves and post it. I'll be happy to comment. This is a beautiful impulse, you can see. And since five waves completed, there's a correction that needs to be done.
and also the hurry up and wait syndrome. Look how it didn't waste any time. It almost went vertical. Same here, it almost went vertical. Didn't wait, wait, waste any time. That is the hurry up part of that syndrome that every crypto has. They hurry up the actionary waves and they take the time on the corrective waves. One of the keys is to be able to label this type of very complex combination type of correction. I can just see it right now. And this is what trips up most of the beginners in elite wave analysis. <clears throat> and this kind of count also has most variation. There are more than one way to count it. So I let me let's take you through this complex combination. Probably it'll be a combination count. And see the where the price will go. So there's a count called WXY, which is three three three. So before I do that, let me <coughs> zoom this in. So I see three, three, three. And that three I will call W X and Y. And each has a WXY subwave. 333 three, three subwave. <coughs> and if that's WXY, usually there's another set of WXY. Let's see. W X Y. Let's label that W. Oops. W goes here. One, two, three. X. One, two, three. Y. And then another W, X, Y. W, X, Y. Give it a different color. <coughs> Give it yellow. One, two, three. W. One, two, three. X. One, two, three. Y. And this takes some practice to get the hang of. Complex corrections are most difficult because it's not hard to. I mean, it's not easy to see right away. This you can visualize. You can see this is an impulse very easily. But when you're fa faced with something like this, it's not as obvious in the form and fit of it. So this is W, X, Y. Does that mean the correction is done? Not necessarily. So I mentioned combination. So here I see a triangle. You can see the triangle probably. So let's draw the line. Like that. <coughs> so this went up, first step. Went up. First, so from here to here is A, B, C, D, and E. So I have a W, X, Y combined with an A, B, C, D, E triangle. This is what you call a combination complex correction. Not the easiest to label. Now, if I draw a line, and now add the chart pattern recognition factor, <coughs> I 
now I have a downward pointing bullish flag. So this is a very good bullish flag, very nice. Embedded within that is a tr symmetrical triangle A, B, C, D, E. I think there's one more small dip left for E. And I believe the price pathway can look like this. And also the hurry up and wait syndrome. Look how it didn't waste any time. It almost went vertical. Same here, it almost went vertical. Didn't wait, wait, waste any time. And that is the hurry up part of that syndrome that every crypto has. They hurry up the actionary waves and they take the time on the corrective waves. One of the key is to be able to label this type of very complex combination type of correction. I can just see it right now. And this is what trips up most of the beginners in elite wave analysis. <clears throat> and this kind of count also has most variation. There are more than one way to count it. So I let me let's take you through this complex combination. Probably it'll be a combination count. And see the where the price will go. So there's a count called WXY, which is three three three. So before I do that, let me <coughs> zoom this in. So I see three, three, three. And that three, I will call W, X, and Y. And each has a W, X, Y subwave. 333 three, three subwave. <coughs> and if that's WXY, usually there's another set of WXY. Let's see. W, X, Y. Let's label that W. W goes here, one, two, three, X, one, two, three, Y. And then another W, X, Y, W, X, Y. Give it a different color. <coughs> Give it yellow, one, two, three, W. One, two, three, X, one, two, three, Y. Now, s waves and subwaves are very important here, too. Just like probably it'll be a combination count. And see the where the price will go. So there's a count called WXY, which is three, three, three. So, before I do that, let me <coughs> zoom this in. So I see three, three, three. And that three I will call W, X, and Y. And each has a W, X, Y subwave. 333 three, three subwave. <coughs> and if that's WXY, usually there's another set of WXY. Let's see. W, X, Y. Let's label that W. W goes here, one, two, three, X, 
one, two, three, y. And then another w, x, y. w, x, y. Give it a different color. <coughs> Give it yellow. One, two, three, w. One, two, three, x. One, two, three, y. Now, waves and subwaves are very important here too. Just like this W has subwaves of itself, one, two, three, and this X has subwaves of, of itself, one, two, three, these W, X, Y are the subwaves of a higher degree of trend X. On the purple W, X, Y are the subwaves to a higher degree trend of, I'm sorry, this is W, not X, W. So these W, X, Y are the subwaves of a W, higher degree trend W, and these W, X, Y in purple are subwaves to the higher degree of trend X. And this ABC yellow are the subwaves 